Konnichiwa! Today we're going to be finding out what it's like to play retro video games in VR with some very, very unique twists with Pixel Ripped 1995. My name's Mike, this is the Retro Gamer Boy Show. Let's get into this. Now I love retro gaming and anything to do with it. Old games like these, figures like those, and if you're the same then why not leave a like on this video and if you've got the time why not subscribe by clicking on a little button down here. Now I don't just play retro games, I do delve into more modern games now and then and one of the things I absolutely love is VR and I've been playing VR since the mid 90s and so when I heard that two of my most favorite gaming mediums were coming together, retro gaming and VR, I couldn't resist trying it out. Pixel Rift 1995. Pixel Rift 1995 is the latest game from Avery and it sees you playing retro video games as a story, a virtual reality story unravels around you. Now the game sees you playing two characters simultaneously. One is Dot, a video game's heroine. And the other is David, a boy who lives in the real world who just loves his video games. David, it's past your bedtime. You know that means lights out. Now at its core, Pixel Ripped is a number of mini retro video games played across a series of genres. But to sum it up like that would be doing it a huge disservice. You start the game off as Dot, a heroine within a video game. She lives in the 1990s in a Game Boy-esque game and she defeats an evil villain. Now it turns out that this villain hasn't been vanquished for good and he takes out his revenge in the future, 1995. And so we see Dot travel through the future from her 8-bit Game Boy-esque environment through to the future with 16-bit graphics on modern consoles. Cyblin, the game's main baddie, steals an artifact and starts to run havoc across the gaming world. And it's up to you and your mentor to synchronize with a human player to help defeat Cyblin. Now a lot of Dot story will unfold within the Pixel Rip world itself. But when it's time for action and gameplay, we're teleported out to David, who's controlling Dot as she takes on Cyblin. And this is where the unique aspects of this game come into play. Now as David, you take control of Dot in the real world. You sit in front of your TV screen and you control her through a series of levels. Now the gameplay for the retro gaming portion of Pixel Rip 1995 is pretty standard and actually more akin to an 8-bit game than perhaps a 16-bit game. You've got move where you can move your character around either left to right if it's a platformer or up down left right if it's a top down side scroller and then you're limited to two buttons so more like a master system or a NES where you can jump or shoot. And the gameplay in these mini retro games is pretty good. Some of them are actually pretty stand out. But I think the thing that makes Pixel Rip 1995 really unique is when they start to bring in some of the virtual reality interactions with the Pixel game itself. As David, you're not only trying to concentrate on the retro game that you're trying to play, whether it's a side-scrolling beat-em-up, a platform game, or an RPG, but there are things that are happening in the world that are trying to prevent you from playing that game or distract you. One of the more interesting levels is where you're trying to sneakily play your latest Castlevania type game without waking up your mother. But you have to deal with the fact that your characters stand on floorboards that make a lot of noise and one of the NPCs that's following you will scream with delight whenever he walks in front of a mirror. These actions will wake your mother up and you've got to quickly switch off your TV so that she can't see that you've been playing games. Now while these distractions are interesting, I think it's where the player starts to really interact with the VR world where Pixel Rip 1995 really comes into its own. There is a fantastic game when you're in a blockbuster type shop. You have 
two consoles in front of you. The first is your power system. This is a SNES type system. And then the other is the turbo drive, which is clearly a mega drive system. Now, what makes this so special is that you start off playing with Dot on a game and you have to collect something. I think it's gems or diamonds or something. And you get stuck behind something in the game. What you do is you move over to the other game, Dot jumps to the other game and picks up power-ups from that game. You can then go back to the other system and use those power-ups within that game. It's a genius mechanic that takes the standard side-scrolling platform gameplay of this retro game and really mixes it up. The other brilliant way that Pixel Rip 1995 uses VR is towards the end of a level. Now at the end of a level, once you've completed your platformer, your RPG, you beat him up, you have a boss battle. And what happens with these boss battles is that they break out into the real world. And so what you end up having is this pixel retro game boss battle happening around you. You still control your players, but you've got more sense of 3D as you move these pixel characters around your environment. And sometimes you've even got a gun or something else that you can interact with as well. So you'll find yourself playing the game and interacting with the 3D environment. It's just a brilliant touch. I think if you've never played old games or don't play retro video games, then some of what this game has will be lost on you. As a retro gamer playing Pixel Rip 1995, you'll be able to pick out the games that inspired the mini retro video games that we find here. Games like The Legend of Zelda, Zool, Mr. Nuts, Alien 3, Castlevania, Streets of Rage, Mortal Kombat, Star Fox and Donkey Kong. And there's a ton more in there. You can do the same with the consoles. There's the power system, which is clearly the SNES. There's the turbo drive, which is clearly the Mega Drive. And there's this really nice bit in the game where they flip things on their head and they take what is clearly a 32X attachment and put it onto your Super Nintendo or your power system. There's an arcade where you go and play and towards the end of the game, you get your hands on an Ultimate 32. If you're not into retro games, then Pixel Rip 1995 is a fun little two and a half to three hour virtual reality game. But if you love retro gaming, you love those 2D pixel games, then this game is gonna mean so much more to you. There's tons of retro gaming references in there from the Street Fighter knockoffs to developer cards and magazines lying around on the floor. I think if I didn't know anything about retro games or gaming of the 90s, a lot of it would pass me by and I wouldn't have enjoyed it much. But being such a fan of retro gaming, seeing knockoff SNES consoles, knockoff Mega Drive consoles, hearing some of the chatter from other characters as they have their video games battle about which console is better than the other really made the whole experience that more immersive. I would definitely recommend picking up Pixel Rip 1995, especially if you're a retro gamer with a VR headset and you can play it on the PSVR, on the Oculus Rift, on the Oculus Quest and I'm guessing every other PC VR system out there. But just remember, the experience is short, two and a half to three hours and perhaps a little pricey for that amount of gameplay at £14. That's it for this week's show. I hope you found something new here with VR and Pixel Rip 1995. Again, if you've enjoyed what you've seen, then why not consider subscribing by clicking on my little pixel head below. And so that you never miss out on your retro gaming goodness, then you've got to click the bell down here. Remember, we have new shows every week, but if next week is too long to wait, then you can 
check out one of our other shows over here.